welcome back to the channel we got something just a smidge different for you guys something new for the channel something new for me something that i do not know much about um i had no plans of buying this to be honest i don't know this platform at all um but i'm going to learn it i'm going to perfect it and we're going to build a bad unit i was actually looking for an lmm uh, to build for a dirt drag truck something cheap something beat up something i didn't care about when um i'll be out these dirt drags because i think the red truck is about done with that it's not worth burning that setup up for the small payouts that dirt drags come out with um so i was looking to build something cheap and um the only way you could build something cheap is go to a different platform and my buddy logan had this just sitting at a shop it was just waiting for me and it is a gmt 900 but it is a gasser now guys this thing is very ugly so don't mind that but just think of how it's going to look eventually this thing's going to be a bad unit and with a goal of making a thousand horsepower for dirt cheap um i don't know much about it but i'm going to figure it out and um, i have all the right people in my corner um logan's already sent me a list of everything i need to do to make this thing a thousand horsepower we already got one part in the garage that is going to help put that power down so um it is very ugly but i have a lot of plans for this truck it's going to look very nice it's going to run really good and it'd be pretty cool to build this and um it helps me learn another platform versus just duramaxes and diesels and stuff so um first things first is we need to clean it um it is disgusting um, you could probably see it a little bit it is covered in mud and all underneath of it's covered in mud so we're going to power wash it first and then we'll break down a little bit about the truck and what we're going to do with it it's going to be my winter project over the winter the red truck's still going to be bad there's nothing going to be changed on the red truck but it's going to be the dirt drag truck and um truck just to go around town and just be a complete sleeper it is basic as hell has roll down windows four wheel drive obviously um it is not the greatest guys but hey i could just power wash all this out and um battery is probably dead oh yeah i don't got no juice um but i'll jump it and we'll fire it up it is very healthy um but it does have a bad transmission um but uh, it's even got a first aid kit it's even got a fire extinguisher in here it's already ready it's ready to go fast it's gonna be a sweet dirt drag truck and i won't have to worry about getting it dirty i could just power wash it straight out which i'm going to do today well power wash underneath first while it's on the trailer It'll make it a lot easier for me because they get all the mud and gunk off underneath the truck um it was like a farm truck or something like that or a state truck i don't i'm not 100 sure it looks like it was some type of government truck or state truck it's very muddy under there so we're gonna clean that off then we'll unload it i don't know if i'll be able to drive it into the garage because the transmission is completely shot we'll get unloaded off the trailer power wash get the outside clean well get underneath the hood clean and get inside clean because this i i can't deal with something that's dirty i am very particular with my trucks and this is this disgusting to me it hurts even just being in here right now so and then i'll break down the setup what the goal is what the plan is um what I plan on doing to the exterior of the truck, um, what I plan on doing under the hood. I got a lot of plans for this thing and um, I can't wait for it to be finished, but this is gonna be a little project that I nitpick here and there. Red truck is the priority. So this is not gonna take the place of that, but it is gonna take place of little these little small events um, where I could burn up something cheap like this versus my red truck that has a ton of expensive parts on. I could probably build this thing for a thousand horsepower cheaper than the fuel system in my red truck. So it is um, it is a complete new platform. It is insane how cheaper it is versus a diesel truck. Um, I kind of wish I would have got this a little sooner, but hey, live and you learn. But like I said, guys, it's not going to take place in the red truck at all um that is what that red truck i love that thing i love racing diesel truck but this thing is going to be something for the little small events around town or local events that um just don't pay much but i want to go out there and have fun and i don't want to burn up or risk burning up my red truck over something that really doesn't have a payout um i have said in the past that i don't do it for money but there's no point in me risking a uh, 50 dollar payout and burn up thousand dollars worth of parts so this is what this is going to be and uh it should be fun but um let's get this thing cleaned up and we'll get back to breaking this thing down <music> 
thing about these interiors are I can literally power wash this stuff right out. I got it pretty decent um, I just sprayed it off I'm not going to go into a full depth detail on this thing it's going to be sitting for a little bit until I start getting some goodies under there but um, it turned out pretty good um, I could put some fish in here if I like um, good thing about this trunk it's literally ready to be dirt dragged um, because of the vinyl floors I could literally just spray these out when they get dirty and we'll be good to go I can spray the door panels off spray the seats off it's uh it's literally meant for dirt drags so this set cleaned out a little bit um obviously got dried off let air dry clean the dash off um body is uh not in the best shape got some rocker rust on each side um got some dings dents uh obviously this bed is screwed typical gmt 900 bed sides always rot out um so i'm probably going to find a new bed for it or just do bed sides i don't think the rails are that bad uh, I got to double check, but um, overall, it's not bad. Bed liner. Oh, I forgot to clean that out. Big dents, rust, and it's got some rocker damage on this side of town. Let's see, bling. But overall, guys, for a thousand horsepower beater that is going to see dirt, not mad with it. Especially for the price I got it at. Cannot wait to get this thing on the road and uh, making some power. Um, I want to try and start this thing up and see if it'll move. Do not know if it will. Um, I haven't really messed with it yet. Um, uh, and that's dead. So I don't think that's going to start it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This thing is healthy. Definitely got to clean a little better on here, but it's a healthy motor. Uh, let's see if it'll actually move now. It's 130,000 miles on it. Let's see. It has 139. The drive. Nothing. Reverse. Nothing. Manual. Absolutely nothing. So guys, if I upshift it up into, I think anything over four, I could get it to move. Oh yeah. Let's get this thing up here and talk about it some more. Actually not, it's leaking trans fluid, so I'm gonna park it back in the grass. So that may be why the transmission is toast because guy probably ran it with it leaking fluid and probably barely has any in it at all. I'm very intrigued to see how much fluid is actually in it. I guarantee there is barely any in it. So let's pull this dipstick out and see what we got. It's dry as hell. So uh, that is not good. So I guarantee it completely screwed the transmission up. Who knows how long this guy drove it with no fluid in it or low on fluid that is exactly why this 4l80 is replacing that junk 6l80 we're going to rebuild this to a nice unit um that's probably going to be one of the first things we do um and in order to do that we're going to need harness a company in north carolina actually makes one um we got to change something with the drive shafts i know um and then i needed this this is the cross member um the factory one for the 6080 will not work so we got this one um that will work perfect for what we need talk about what we're going to do under that hood all it takes is a vision paint matched new headlights clear lens or um, a black 
headlight with a clear lens. Haven't decided. Paint matched. New wheels and tires. Uh, maybe paint match the mirrors. Guys, this thing has so much potential, and it's going to be sweet when it's done. Um, yes, it looks rough, but a couple months down the road, this thing is going to be a bad unit, and I cannot wait um, to send this thing and um, have fun with it. Definitely going to put some cow tracks on it, probably lower the rear end down. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do exhaust-wise. I don't know if I'm going to do a bumper exit, um, a fender exit, or just do a full exhaust. Um, haven't decided that yet. This poor engine has no clue what it's in store for. It's a 5.3. It is a Gen 4 LC9. These stock bottom ends hold some serious power. I'm just picture a big spoolie boy here. I'm going to go T6. It is probably going to be an 88. Not sure which turbo kit I'm going to run just yet. Either I build my own, find a used one, or there's so many other options out there that um, are pretty sweet. I want it to look very nice. Um, I do want to retain the AC. That is a must. I cannot drive around without AC. Along with the turbo kit, I'm going to need a wastegate. I'm going to need a blow-off valve. The battery, I am probably going to relocate over to the driver's side like a Duramax is. Um, fuel system, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do twin pumps or triple pumps. Um, I do have an injector set up in mind that should fuel this thing way more than i need when i start it i'm gonna put valve springs and push rods along with the cam it is going to be most likely a stage two turbo cam plus there's a bunch of little odds and ends that you don't realize you'll need until you actually dive into this thing um so stuff's going to add up it's probably going to be more expensive than i think it's going to be but it's going to be worth it because this thing's going to be super fun going to clean it up in here um paint the frame and all that stuff i'm looking forward to this project Something different for me, and um, I just can't wait to dive into this thing. Nice four inch inner core is gonna sit right up in here. I cannot wait to get this thing out in the road. This is gonna be a nice project, especially over winter time. Um, I'm hoping to have it next spring out in the road. Like I said, guys, earlier, this is a completely new platform for me. I've driven gas trucks, I've worked on gas trucks, but the performance side of things, it's completely new. Um, it's pretty much like learning a different language to me at this point, but there's no better way to learn than to actually get to it and work on it yourself and get on form. That's how I learned the Duramax side of things. Um, the diesel side of things is just hands on. So this is gonna be a complete learning curve for me and I can't wait to go through the process. I have awesome people in my corner already that are very knowledgeable with the gas side of things, LS stuff and making power with these things. These stock bottom ends hold some power. It's gonna be a long road, but um, it's gonna be fun. So if you guys have any suggestions, any advice, any opinions, please leave them below. I'll be glad to read them. Um, yes, this is a little different thing for the channel um, versus my Duramax and Duramax stuff and drag racing, but it is still the same concept of going fast and making power. So I cannot wait again to get this thing done. It's going to be long. It's going to be a different process for me. Um, but I'm going to nitpick things here and there, and I'll keep you guys updated on it. The first thing we're going to do is get this trans going through, refreshed, built, and we're going to do a non-lockup converter. Um, it's going to be a bad build when it's done. Um, and then, like I said, guys, I got to get a harness for it. It's about 800 bucks, I think, last I checked, or if I could find one used. It's not going to be an updated thing, kind of like my red truck is. Um, my red truck, like I said, guys, is my priority. So that's the majority of what this channel is going to be about. But this is going to be a nice little thing to add into it as well. Um, I'll nitpick it at it here and there, make a video for you guys. But please, again, guys, any suggestions, any advice, any opinions you may have, please drop it. It is very rough right now. I know. Trust me. It is ugly. It looks like a grandpa truck. It looks like a work truck. But don't sleep on it. Next video, LMM will be back. It's got a few goodies. I got a few goodies here that are going to go on it. And I cannot wait to show you guys because it is sweet. It is going to be awesome. And um, shoot, just looking at the stuff I got sitting over here. Uh, I want to show you guys, but you just got to wait a little bit. Um, LMM should be back. I'm hoping this week and I'll put that video up for you guys. But uh, for now, thanks for watching. Something a little different for you guys. But um, hope you liked it. Like I said, guys, please comment below anything you may have. If you haven't, like subscribe and see you guys next time. See ya.